I'm doing okay. You're breaking up a lot. Um, and I well, what, 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 why don't I do this? I'm going to hang up with you. I'm going to call you back on Skype, and we'll just go that route, man. Okay, let's do this. We are going to switch and call him back on Skype, and uh, we will just do that. And we will figure out just exactly our phone issues. <laughs> it's always fun here. So, J.D., can you, can you hear us now, my friend? I want to get off and running. And uh, All right, let's do it. J.D. joins us live here on our broadcast. And uh, so, J.D., tell us a little bit about your, uh, your music background, my friend. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, uh, I was born and raised in Chicago, and, and um, uh, I started playing guitar when I was uh, like four years old or so, and um, I started playing in bars and stuff when I was eight, nine years old, you know, like you do, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, being facetious, of course. And, uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, as a teenager, playing in bands and you know, I, I unfortunately dropped out of high school and and uh, went out on the road playing with bands and ended up in Nashville uh, eventually when I turned 21 and uh, played in a club band there for um, for a long time, a very coveted one that a lot of my heroes had been in, a band called the Don Kelly Band, and ended up playing on a lot of records, doing a lot of uh, sessions and stuff like that and then uh through the course of the community of nashville ended up meeting you know some like-minded individuals most notably my my partner uh uh adam abershoff uh who uh who is you know one of the best drummers in the world and we uh embarked on you know doing original music and um you know now we're just getting ready to release um, uh, a new record Friday uh, called Mind Control uh, that we made over the course of the pandemic. And, um, you know, we, we, we're really obsessed with, with Afrobeat and with, uh, like, North Mississippi Hill Country sort of trance blues like Junior Kimbrough and Fred McDowell and stuff like that. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. JB JD Simo is with us today. He's got a brand new album, Mind Control, and uh, he joins us here on Skype Audio to discuss this incredible, incredible album. So, uh, with with this with this collection of music, what is the the one track on this collection of music you're most proud of? That's a good question. Um. Man, I don't know if I could pick just one. Um, I think the most, I think Go Away Satan is probably the one that I enjoy playing the most, um, just because it's so open, uh, meaning that, you know, it's, it's kind of a loose framework that we can interpret it different every night to a certain extent, um, which a lot of the material is like that. But um, I don't know, most proud of that. I'm proud of the whole thing, man. You know? That's awesome. That's so. awesome. JD joins us live here on our big program, Coast to Coast, Border to Border, on iHeartRadio today and also AMFM, <laughs> 247.com, KJagRadio.com as well. So tell me about the writing process for this incredible collection of music. Um, well, we, we finished up a tour right before... Uh, the world shut down. And so we had going into March of last year, we had figured on taking a couple months off. Um, and then obviously uh, everything, you know, happened as it did with, with COVID. And um, we, after, I guess it was probably about a month or it might've been a little more than a month. Um, I certainly was like starting to go stir crazy. Like, the rest of the world was, um, I just wanted to make music. I wanted to play music. It wasn't so much about traveling or any of the other stuff. I just needed to play with other people. And so we started getting together, um, in my little, uh, basement studio, um, just to hang out and, 
um, you know, try and be as safe as we could given the circumstances. Um, but we were all strictly quarantined and we were, we just, you know, me and my buddy started getting together on a weekly basis and we would get together, you know, at least twice a week, really for, for months and months and months. And we would just make stuff up, jam all the above. And it was really beautiful and it was very pure and it was, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I really hadn't had that, um, kind of experience since I was a teenager, really, um, of there being no motive, there being no kind of business connected to it. It was just simply, I just want to play music with my friends, you know? And, um, so as far as writing is concerned, it was very loose, you know, like sometimes, you know, myself or, 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 or Adam or, you know, like there might be an idea that somebody brought in. Sometimes it just kind of came out of a jam uh, sometimes, you know, I might have like a mood that day, like, oh man, I'd like to come up with something sort of in this vein and we just come up with it. And then we, you know, we would put it together and then record it right then and there and sort of chuck it in the pile. And by the time we got into the early parts of, of this year, we had a, a, a fairly massive collection of material that was all, you know, sitting there from doing that every week, you know. So it was really, really great. I mean, I, I, I've never enjoyed the recording process that as much as that because it was just so loose and, you know, it was, it was great. It was really fun. Fantastic. So tell me about that's when you know that you're down. We're going to play that here in a few moments. Oh, well, that's a, that's one of, one of Abershoff's favorites. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's a tune that, um, I actually wrote that. I finished writing um, um, another tune on the record in the same night. Um, I was up really late, and I was listening to, um, I remember I listened to, like, a, a deluxe edition of Trap Ma Mask Replica, and then I listened to Lick My Decals Off Baby with the two Captain Beefheart records. And I finished a tune called uh, Want What I Don't Have, which we had, like, the main part of it, but I just, I, I, I wrote the words to it, and then I wrote That's When You Know That You're Down right then, like, after listening to Beefheart for the better part of an evening, or at least a couple hours. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, we're going to put you on hold here on Skype, and when we come back, we will have more with JD, but right now, That's When You Know You're Down here on our big, big broadcast.
That's J.D. Samo, and he joins us today here on our big program. We go back live to the telephones. We have got J.D. Simo with us today, and that, of course, was that's when you know you're down, and he joins us today here on the telephone. So, J.D., um, what's been some advanced feedback or anything that you've gotten from folks on this album so far? Um, well, to be honest, I, I haven't gotten a ton, uh, because, uh, you know, it, 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 it's not out yet. And I mean, all the response from, you know, people at shows and stuff has been really positive. And honestly, I mean, there's been reviews and stuff that come in, but I don't really usually ever read them anymore. Um, so, but I mean, over, overall, it's, everything seems to be, um, uh, really positive. Um, you know, I just really, I mean, selfishly, I just really enjoy playing all the material. And, and uh, like I said, I, I just enjoyed the process of making it so much that I don't really, I kind of want to continue to work in that capacity <laughs> moving forward, at least for the next bit, because it was just so easy going, you know. So. J.D. Semo with us today. He joins us live here on our big program, Coast to Coast, and Border to Border on iHeartRadio and also AMFM247.com. Well, before we let you go, my friend, how do we get in touch with you on social media, the websites, buy your music, everything? Well, um, the the thing that I'm on the most is my Instagram, which is at JD Simo Music, um, and I'm on that, like, every day. There's stuff up there every day. Um, but also, you know, the Facebook page and Twitter and the YouTube channel, which are all JD Simo music. Um, they're all the same. Um, and, uh, the website for tour dates and ticks and all that kind of stuff is, uh, JD Um, and, uh, you know, we're out on a tour right now, uh, with, with our buddies from Boston, um, Aerosmith, no, and um, it's been really fun and we're coming through it's going to be a good show and um, yeah hope to see you all and uh, you know I appreciate you having me man well you have got some amazing stuff here good luck with the album and uh, I will talk to you soon my friend thanks for doing this and uh, thanks for being on the broadcast today Thank you so, so much, and have a great rest of your day as well, all right? Definitely, definitely. You too. Thank you, J.D. Have yourself a wonderful day. There he goes. That is J.D. Simo. We are going to take a timeout when we come back. We have got more on the other side. It is Yoa Big Broadcast. (laughs) 